My name is Audrey Adamson and I am the Executive Director of the Career Center and Quad Cities Outreach for Western Illinois University. My name is Carrie Alexander Albritton and I am a professor in the Department of Counselor Education and College Student Personnel at Western Illinois University in the Quad Cities. My name is Christy Mindrup and I am in Higher Education Administration. Um, I, I've been really blessed to, to be a professor in this department for about 16 years now and I, I think you know barriers that I have had to overcome in the profession have been um, really learning how to balance career with family and navigating responsibilities um, kind of throughout higher education and I've been really blessed to have supportive colleagues and a supportive university environment in order to do that. Something that still impacts me I think is uh, imposter syndrome where uh, just thinking that maybe I don't have the skills, talents, and ability to do some of the things that I am actually doing. Um, and so that questioning of yourself and, and wondering um, if you are able to do the things at the level that uh, you're expected to do them at. Uh, so the ways that I have sort of overcome that is having those honest conversations with other people, particularly women um, in uh, professional roles and that a lot of us experience that. Um, and just really looking at the results that I do produce in my job and the good work that I do. Some of the barriers that women face uh, in our society are sometimes that of perception. And those perceptions, I think, are shaped by the media and messages we receive, uh, even as young girls. And those perceptions, sometimes we carry them with us and sometimes we even believe them. And so the important thing is to be authentic to our true selves and understand our potential and I think we have the opportunity as women through life um, to um, interact with mentors who help us see our potential uh, and just to continue to set our own goals and use our own voice to empower our own life experience. I think women still do not have a seat at the table in a lot of decision-making places. So a lot of organizations, whether that is corporations, whether that's in public office, all of those places. Many times women tend to put pressures on themselves to be the best in their home environment with their children and also to be the best at their career and to continue to be career driven. So that can be really difficult um, where to put your time, um, and how to maintain your wellness through that process because that can be difficult. So you're balancing the demands of the workplace and you are balancing that with you know, being a mom. So for me, that's something that I'm constantly striving for balance and how ways to be successful in that avenue. So um, I am not a woman in STEM. Um, my undergrad degree is actually in biology, but then I kind of switched paths and went toward uh, college administration and the things I do now. Um, but I have the pleasure of getting to work on a regular basis with many women in STEM, particularly women here at Western, our students in like our engineering program and other areas. Uh, my own child is a math major in college, and so um, I get to see every day these uh, women that are working towards their goals um, of contributing to these fields. I do know women that are, that are in STEM type positions and they're very successful and they work very hard um, and, I, and I, I think it's definitely it's important and people that are blessed with those gifts should, should harness them and challenge themselves to go into those professions and uh, I definitely think it takes both, both genders in, in any field and that's one in particular. I have a daughter who's 14 that loves the, that area and I say, you know, I, it's important for you to know that not all, you know, there aren't a lot of women in this field and so you would be sought after if you, if you really do like math and and sciences and so I think you know for a middle schooler that's hard to envision that's hard to imagine that it wouldn't you know there wouldn't be equitable positions within within that field. I think being a well-rounded person helps you understand the complexity of society first of all but I, I do think that individuals regardless of their gender have the opportunity to really zero in and think about how their their primary talents and strengths uh, fit into that big picture. It's important for men and women to both, you know, capitalize on each other's strengths and um, work together and and really promote each other's strengths depending upon what they are. And that looks different for everyone. And so, um, I think I think it's incredibly important to communicate effectively, to work 
um, in every field in a way that would promote success. That diverse perspective, um, you know, in, involving all of these things that are happening in technology and other things. And so when you have different perspectives around a table, then better decisions are typically made that impact everybody. And then also I think it's just huge just to have those women be role models for other women to be involved, to see that representation of having all types of people um, involved in all types of fields uh, to make sure that we, we get the best things for our communities and our society in terms of products, processes, policies, et cetera. I think it's important for men to also, for those same reasons, to be involved in maybe traditionally female dominated fields um, because uh, we also want that diverse perspective in all of those. And then we also have some high needs in some of those fields. So like if you think about early childhood education or nursing and healthcare, those have typically been highly male, um, female dominated fields, but our society needs all of the people stepping up to be in some of those roles. Um, so I think making there be less stigma sometimes around maybe men participating in those fields um, and make, providing pathways for that to happen, I think can benefit our communities overall. You know, there, there's hope and, and then there is um, thinking realistically um, I think that we have made extraordinary strides, um, but those ebb and flow. And so there are times and periods in our history where we've just had really great progress when it comes to gender equality. And then there are other times when it might feel like we've backstepped a little bit. And so I think that ongoing dialogue is a critical piece and making sure um, that we're mindful um, of any inequities in our society and understanding what structural barriers are in place uh, as well as just uh, wi within our own interaction within society and what we might unintentionally contribute uh, to inequality. So that mindfulness is a really important piece. And I think society will recognize the need to make sure that all of the people in our community have access to be at all these roles um, because we need them to be in those things to, to solve the problems that are coming up in terms of uh, you know, climate change and other huge issues that are coming up in our world. Uh, we need all of the people coming together to, to work towards those solutions. Um, and so because of that need and because of just, I think, a desire by, I see it in the students here, I see it in high school students, um, of just saying everyone needs to have that equal access and, and seat at the table. You know, I hope that it changes, um, continues to change for the better, and that we can all continue to promote each other's successes and wellness um, as we move forward. There, you know, we've had a lot of change in the last, you know, 10 years in particular, and women continue to um, take on, I think, more and more responsibilities, and so really to just help each other to be successful in those ways and um, embrace whatever opportunities women choose to um, find themselves in, whether it's balancing career with family or family by itself or um, you know, a combination of those things. I think that women can support other women. It's really important to do that. And providing mentoring opportunities is so essential to move forward within society. And so I would encourage women to continue to do that, um, lift each other up and capitalize on their strengths and embrace each other's successes. I think we do that far too often. And so that would be something important as well. Women's History Month is important because it keeps the conversation going. It gives us a chance to look back at our history and simultaneously at our future and envisioning where we want to go both as individual women uh, and also collectively uh, as a group of people who are just in concerned with making sure that people are treated fairly, equally, and have the opportunity to thrive in, in their lives. I really think that um being multiculturally competent is essential. And so um, recognizing many groups is so important and recognizing uh, people's successes and ways to facilitate change for the better. And we can do that by honoring women and by honoring all groups. Yeah, I think just overall, uh, particularly on the, the sort of career front. So part of my role is, you know, in terms of being a career center director is that uh, it's, I see that imposter syndrome. I see um, sometimes the need to make like the perfect decision about people's career paths um, and that you need to be 
overly, overly qualified to apply for things, and I see that mostly in women, um, that they, they feel that they need to have all of the things to be ready to go on to that next step. Um, and so I think, for me, part of my job is hopefully letting people know that you don't need to, to be able to do all of the things to be able to take that next step. You need to be willing to learn and have the capability to learn those things uh, to take that next leap. Um, but I think helping uh, particularly young women overcome sort of some of those insecurities as they head toward their career pathways is really important to me. And I'm grateful that I get here at Western to be a part of some of those conversations and things every single day um, and look forward to continuing to hopefully uh, see uh, students that are here at, at Western go out and make their world a better place um, with their unique skills and talents.